in this video i'll teach you a uh, very simple things simple moving averages and exponential moving averages sma and ema here i have taken different rates and on that day closing prices suppose now we are taking 9 days moving averages here just click on average averages and take for last 10 days including 10th day the 10 day moving averages and drag all these values up to what level you want to track so now though the close price on 13th january is 65 rupees but average simple moving average is reflecting 63 rupees because it's showing last 10 days simple moving averages and this is sma it is simple moving averages now we need to understand what is ema exponential moving averages exponential moving averages is nothing but it is more smooth line to sma and it gives weightage to recent close prices more so we have to start ema first things that were to for this day ema need to be supposed equal to sma and now for 16 january ema close price of this date minus previous day previous day ema and this multiplied by 2 divided by this 10 day then divided by 11 and plus 1 it is multiplier and then previous day ema and we drag these values up to level we want to drag and now we draw diagram we draw diagram up to level we want to take we check yes now we go for uh, its interpretation also because without interpretation it would not be ok now do close line series 1 this is of blue color it have fluctuations that much it is more smooth why series 2 simple moving averages it means the prices for last 10 days sma prices increasing then decreasing what ema this curve actually exponential moving averages is uh, equally it is more weightage to the recent prices like likewise so EMA and SMA are very easy to understand. I hope you understood it. Thank you.